You want to hug your loved ones? You can't. The last time Alexandra Winston got to see her father was through a glass window in the ICU unit of Centera Careplex in Hampton. It's not fair on our, our part, but it's 100% fair on the healthcare workers. Her father, Gregory Chapel, just 53 years old, took his last breath on September 24th after COVID-19 took over his body. It started with a headache and he said it was a bad headache. It took a turn very, very fast. I mean, out of nowhere. Chapel had his first vaccine and was set to get his second two days before his death. He was a giant teddy bear. I mean, if you needed him, he was there. Chapel, with a larger than life personality, was a Spanish teacher at Lake Taylor High School and prior to that taught in Newport News. He was an ultimate Frisbee coach on the side as well. So, yeah, he was always at school. <laughs> He was a Miami Dolphin lover. But his biggest loves were his two children and his granddaughter, Coraline. My daughter is his pride and joy. I'm grateful that he got to meet her because the small time that he was in her life, it made a huge impact. A teacher, a father, a coach, a friend, and a family man gone all too soon. He was loved in the community. His teachings and his coaching, it made an impact. That's all he wanted to do was make an impact. A celebration of life for Greg Chapel will be held tomorrow at 1230 at the picnic shelter in Buckrow Beach in Norfolk. Chelsea Donovan, News 3.